Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Brenda. So it's been a minute since I've actually vlogged so I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty but oh my goodness it is now springtime so happy spring. The last time I filmed we were in the last days of winter and the weather had really you know it really got gloomy got rainy got cold I just you know that type of weather just doesn't really give me any inspiration. So here we are, it is now springtime. So I'm so excited because then summer is coming and it's just gonna be longer days, sunnier days, which is really what I actually love. It is just so beautiful when the weather is long days, sunny days, you get to go to the beach and see the sunset. It's really nice, which my husband and I did do the other day, which was so, so nice. But other than that, welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to ease back into filming some vlogs for y'all. So today I actually wanted to go to Sprouts to go pick up some either tempeh or tofu because on Fridays we don't eat meat during the Lent season and I could obviously eat anything else but tofu and tempeh, but Honestly, it's just the easiest, healthiest sort of type of meal that I can cook. And I've already got some food in the fridge from yesterday's leftovers. Yesterday, I ended up cooking some crispy chicken wings in our air fryer and I did barbecue and my husband's was buffalo. And for the wings, I baked some potatoes in the oven and I also roasted some broccoli. So I do have a leftover russet potato and some roasted broccoli so I thought maybe I could just do like a barbecue tempeh tofu situation 
that is the plan right now. It seems like today's re reoccurring theme is like self-care habits, things that I do as a self-care routine. We all know that self-care typically is framed or put in a box of, you know, you get to take a bath, you get to do your skincare face mask, and you get to drink your favorite drink and read your favorite book or whatever self-care for you, whatever that looks like for you. But for me, uh, when we talk about self-care, I kind of think of your everyday habits. Like to me, exercising is a way of self-care because you are taking care of your body by doing so. You're exercising, you're burning calories, you're getting your heart rate up. And I believe like that is a form of self-care. Also having a nutritious breakfast. Some people don't like to have breakfast first thing in the morning, but for me, I'm I'm in a season of life where I am hungry first thing in the morning. So I do eat first thing in the morning. I think generally speaking, having a healthy meal, healthy cooking is a, a form of self-care as well. Journaling, reading, prayer, meditation, listening to your favorite music, whatever makes you feel good and puts you in a good headspace, I believe is a self-care uh, habit, so to speak. <laughs> So we made it back home from Sprout and it's actually a really hot day today. It's like almost 90 degrees, which is crazy because like I said, it's now spring and not summer and the weather's already really, really hot. So anyway, let me fix this. We picked up a few items, as mentioned, a very small mini grocery haul. First things first, it's my favorite granola by Purely Elizabeth. This one, I like it because the ingredients are pretty clean. The sugar that they use in it is coconut sugar, and that's about it. A box of greens. I like to use these type of greens for eggs especially and also for, oh my gosh, my battery's dying. I was mentioning that I like to use my greens for eggs and soups. I kind of like to sometimes put them in smoothies when the weather warms up a little bit more, which is basically like now. So they only had spinach that expires in the furthest state. So I grabbed spinach. I usually like to switch it up. I usually like to do arugula kale or kale, spinach, and chard. I just like to mix up the greens because that's also good for your digestive system to mix it up here and there, especially if you're on a budget and if you don't have the room in your budget to buy extravagant vegetables and fruits every two weeks or so, then you could definitely uh, switch it up and that is still a good way to incorporate good bacteria into your tummy. That's something that I learned. I also picked up some energy drinks for my husband. I decided to pick him up the low sugar, low calorie. He said he didn't mind this flavor because I grabbed this one for him a few times already. So I know it's not his favorite, but energy drinks tend to have a lot of sugar. And if I can help my husband make healthier choices, then I will. So I picked him up the low sugar. But then here I am contradicting myself because I did pick up some raspberry jam. This is actually for some raspberry chia cookies that I would like to bake either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but the book that I like to follow is by Oshi oh Glows. I have it in her cookbook. I actually baked those cookies for Christmas. So if you saw my Christmas uh, bake with me cookie video, I baked a batch of those cookies, but I ended up using strawberry jam and I also was out of almond extract and almond extract really gives like the signature taste for like almond thumbprint cookies type of flavor so i did pick up almond extract it was on sale usually this is really expensive but i was surprised that it was uh it was about seven bucks 6.49 for this so not too shabby and i also picked up some sleeping supplements we like to take these supposedly there's a higher dosage of these but we like to use these also picked up some 
raw almonds because for the cookies you do have to create an almond flour, like an almond, not flour, an almond meal, I should say. So basically you just blend this up and it becomes almond meal. Tofu, as mentioned for today, I picked up two packs so that I can kind of cook a bigger batch so we could have it for a couple of days. I picked up a few of the honey crisp apples because honey crisp apples are my favorite. These are the organic ones. As mentioned, when you can shop organic, if you can't, that's okay. It's better to get in your fruit and vegetables in whether they're organic or not, rather than not get any at all. So just wash it well if you're not gonna have organic. But other than that, that is all I, that I picked up. And now I'm going to get started with cooking that barbecue tofu, super easy to cook. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I put all the groceries away except for the tofu. I've got my tofu presser out because that is the first thing we're going to do. I am going to press the tofu for at least 15 minutes each. So total time 30 minutes before I dice it and fry it. I cannot recommend anymore to get a tofu presser. That is first things first. You just need it. You need something that can turning the knobs as low as possible because I also don't want to break the tofu. So I'm just going to let that, you know, bleed out the water for like the next 15 minutes or so before we come back and continue to the next step. But basically that is how much water two of the tofus released from the tofu presser. So that's a lot of water. It could go for a little bit more, but I think this is enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the one that I put in the fridge. And we are going to slice this up, or dice it, I should say. So the tofu is looking pretty golden brown. I basically cooked it on a medium heat. Yeah, about 10 minutes it seems like. I've been kind of flipping them over just so that they're evenly golden brown. And I did use olive oil. I used a tablespoon of olive oil. So now that it's pretty much the way I like it, you could cook it more if you want, but this is how I like it. I'm gonna lower the heat and now I'm going to grab my favorite sauce. So if I want a teriyaki, I would do teriyaki. But in today's menu, we are gonna be using barbecue. So we're gonna be using this one here, Stubbs uh, Hickory Smoky Brown Sugar. Super yummy, we love this one. So this is dinner today. I had baked russet potatoes in the oven yesterday and this is one of them. And I just went ahead and topped it with extra black pepper and butter. It's melting in there as you can see. And I heated up the broccoli that I also uh, roasted in the oven yesterday. And then our barbecue tofu. I can't wait to enjoy this. So this is gonna be my cozy, delicious dinner. Dinner was really good and now I am going to make myself a cup of tea. I usually also do this on nights or evenings where I have more time to unwind and that is today. So let me show you guys our tea selection because we have quite a large tea selection. We're tea and coffee drinkers in this household. So let me show y'all. This drawer here, we have our 
uh, coffee cups to go and our straws to go so it's like very cohesive if you guys understand what I've got going on here we've got your electrolytes your teas uh, coffee filter for the coffee maker we've got coffee here you know I don't know if y'all can see the flow that I wanted to establish here oh so I'm just gonna put it in a regular cup I'm gonna put it in my relax mug here this one my hearth and hand relax I'm also going to remove my makeup and do a face mask because when I have more time in the evenings as mentioned I tend to you know, squeeze in that face mask, squeeze in that bath, squeeze in a tea. I definitely prefer drinking teas a little bit earlier, mid evening. So I got my two tea bags in. Now we're gonna pour it. So let's go ahead. It is finally time to remove my makeup and start winding down to get ready for a bath. So I already removed my earrings. I like to remove my makeup. Y'all know I love using these Olay Cleanser facial cloths. They're fragrance free so they're really good if you have sensitive skin. And then I'm going to wash my face and I'm going to just start unwinding. I did finish drinking my tea. I did also have my chocolate and it was so delicious. You know how when you have a variety of chocolates, you don't know what flavor it's going to be, but I feel like my mom nailed it. She customized the, the assorted chocolate flavors and every flavor was just really delicious. The last one I got, which is one that I just ate, it tasted like a butterscotch flavor from the inside, which was really delicious and it was just so good. I just love chocolate like that. It's crazy because when I was younger, I never really liked chocolate like that. And it's just crazy how when you grow up, your taste buds change. But nonetheless, I already got everything ready. I got my candles here, the speaker here. I'm gonna be listening to some music. I'm debating while I take my bath and just unwind, you know? It's really been helpful to do uh, this, you know, once a week or so to really dedicate some time to really, you know, unwind, take time to drink your tea, take time to watch your favorite TV show. It's all a form of self-care and then properly do like a face mask. I think it's really nice. So it's my favorite cleanser. I've been using this for years. Y'all know if you guys have seen my skincare segments in my videos um, but it is a cleanser that I still really like and then I have a clean face towel here and I'm going to go ahead and wash my face for one minute <laughs> the charcoal mask I have another one that's for texturizing but I really want to get like a detox type of thing in on my face so I'm gonna just go ahead and start applying this one I should get a brush they sell brushes for these but I just keep forgetting to get one Set a timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. So, there's that. Sorry if I set off your Siri. That would have been funny. Actually left it on longer than 10 minutes. I think closer to 20. Because I think you're supposed to take it off when you feel it dry out. And it didn't really feel dried out until now. So, here we are. I'm going to rinse this off. Wish me luck. I'm going to put this towel here to avoid all of the foolish, foolish splash that happens. Here we go. difference you know like after any type of mask or 
Costco actually carries these and it's really helpful because we get the Costco deal so we got two big packs this is actually the last one that we have so we're gonna have to pick up more but essentially what Epsom salt does is what I've learned is that Epsom Epsom salt is a mineral that when it's released in water when it's dissolved in water it and if your body is in the water your body absorbs uh, the magnesium sulfate so Epsom salt when dissolved becomes magnesium sulfate which is a very uh, special mineral that helps uh, fight inflammation in the body and hence will help reduce muscular aches throughout your body and it also helps reduce stress I personally felt a night and day difference when I started using this and I just feel like this is just so relieving so lately I've been trying to do this three times a week like two to three times a week and it's just so 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 helpful so I'm gonna be writing a bath in that and in my bath I also recently started adding some lavender essential oil so kind of like a foaming bath it kind of adds kind of like bubbles and this kind of helps also calm the mind and it helps promote a better night's sleep but as you all know I do take my sleeping supplements I drink a tea so I'm already starting to unwind I haven't taken my supplement yet but I, I just had my tea and the tea even though it's a ginger tea it's a warm cup of of you know tea which kind of helps center myself and I'm just like unwinding I've got dim lights going on throughout our apartment and now I'm gonna have a warm bath and then after that I'm gonna take my sleeping supplement and pray and read the Bible and all of that just really helps me unwind and to me again since we're talking about the self-care topic today that is how I go about self-care habits when I have more time in my hands so when I have more time in my hands those days out of the week I do try and take a really nice bath with candles and music but usually if it's just a quick bath I just do the salt by it alone and that's it nothing else but today I'm gonna do the whole spiel so I as mentioned I like to add the bubbles in there and I also like to add I'm on actually is this my last one Oh my gosh, I need to order them. But these are ultra moisturizing bath bombs and they're also a lavender scented. But I'm gonna light up my candles after I set up the bath. I wanted to say the outro right now because after my bath, I'm going to just go straight to unwinding mode, which is, you know, getting ready for bed, prayer, and all of that stuff. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and having a self-care habit day i hope that it inspires you and i hope that the bath kind of motivates you to maybe you could set up your own bath set up your own regimen what is it that works for you to have a self-care unwinding routine relaxing is very important it's very important to reduce stress levels whatever that looks like of course in the grounds of healthy habits and i just hope that today's video motivates you and thanks so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you all on the next video Thank you.